Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Veggie Aussie Chick. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Pumping out the videos today because I've got nothing else to do. Still wet. Um, I just did an animal video so I'm going to do another one for you since I've got nothing to do. Um, I was meant to go see a comedian tonight but um, they postponed it because of the weather but um it's indoors so it's bizarre but anyway i guess they're just looking out for everyone's safety anyway i'm going to be talking to you all about abscess from bite wounds when if your dog and cat gets um, um bite wounds from or an abscess forms from bite wounds if that makes sense so uh, this is just from veterinarypartner.bin.com seem to be getting a lot of in my information from there this is what an abscess from a bite wound looks like on a cat. And a few other pictures there as well. Um, so I will just read the first paragraph or first couple of sentences and what to look for at home. And I guess treatment and stuff like that. And yeah, so look, I'm going to read the first paragraph and stop because my voice is getting a little bit croaky. I need a fisherman friend. So I'll do this bit and then I'll have to come back. So an abscess forms when an infected bite wound heals over on its surface, thus sealing the deeper infection inside. Fever is generated as the infection incubates. Diseased tissue and inflammatory cells liquefy into pus. The pus breaks through the overlying surface skin and drains, leading to foul odour, pain and discharge. The area may or may not heal on its own. If it does heal on its own, obviously you don't need to go back to your vet or go to your vet. Um, if it doesn't, obviously go to your vet. Okay, I will be back. Okay, I'm sorry about all this interruption. Just sort of do a video on the deck. Okay, see you now. I'll show you the train. Just constant, constant, constant. Anyway, so what to look for at home in regards to an abscess in a dog and cat? Um, or what to look for? If the abscess has not yet ruptured, if the cat will most likely be, or the dog will most likely be feverish, which means you will see listlessness and appetite loss. Um, treatment. I might just read maybe one or two. If the abscess has not ruptured, it will need to be lanced. Once the abscess is open, it will need to be flushed clean of infected derberus. If the abscess is large and especially painful, sedation may be required to accomplish this. So obviously you can't do that at home. You've got to go to a vet and get that done. Um, and also your cat and dog may likely need antibiotics to sort of heal it and um, I guess make it go away, get a bit better. Um, just sort of, you can also give them an injectable antibiotic that lasts two weeks and may be given in the clinic, uh, eliminating the need for oral medication at home. Now that might be a good option because especially if you don't have like someone else to help you to hold the cat and stuff like that to give pills and medication as i've said before it's really hard to give medication to a cat um you really need to be able um so that might be a other thing other important things i don't think there's much more to say if your cat and dog has not been vaccinated for rabies it um might be an important time right now to get it done so just speak to your vet about that and he'll uh, either say yes I'll vaccinate your dog and cat or I won't. He's the professional so he can give you better advice than I will. Um, and just sort of if you have any questions about the medication or the abscess or anything like that just ask your vet because he's you know he's gone to uni to, done the, to do this um, degree and he'll pretty much, he mightn't have all the answers, but he'll pretty much put you on the right track if you are a little bit anxious or concerned about the um, situation. So I'm just gonna see, it's got something about first aid abscess here. But 
Can you hear that rain? All wet behind me. Um, oh, my iPad's just a little bit slow this afternoon. I'm just going to see if there's any other information I can give you in regards to bright rooms. That first day and stuff like that, but no, I probably can't give you that much information. Um, well, surgery might be um, like a last resort as well. I don't think I mentioned that. Okay, so it's got here what not to do. Uh, do not attempt to open the abscess yourself. Do not attempt compressing the wounds of a, for, oh, that's just for a cat. Um, your safety is of uttermost importance to us. Uh, do not apply medicines, human medications, such as like Panadol or any sort of pain medication or any home remedies unless directed by the vet. So I think that's about all I have to say about that. Um, just maybe restrict your pet to indoor activities until the infection has resolved as well. Um, you don't want them going, roaming the streets and getting, um, or making the abscess worse. So guys, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.